What if I told you that a majority of the Jasmine coin holders are in the profit? Is this a good thing or is this a bad thing? And is this the time to be buying this token? Well, I want to dive into some detailed statistics about the Jasmine coin and the holders in this video. And I want to talk to you guys about what I think comes next for this token. Now, here's a hint. I lean bullish on this thing right now for the short term. But is this going to be a long-term trade? This is something to consider uh, looking into on your own, doing your own research. Here's a little bit of information to give you a further understanding of what's going on with Jasmine today and what I think comes next. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I am Crypto Kip. I want to jump right into this video. Now, the Fear and Greed Index is signaling that these are great buying opportunities, and that is exactly the case. My friends, we see a lot of altcoins that are no longer down over the last seven days. In fact, a lot of these things have started to recover. Just look at the last 24 hours, and you'll see some of the top gainers are Ordi, Ronin, Lido, up 10, 15 percent, and Jasmine Coin is up there as well. Right now, up 9 percent, up 11.47 percent over the last seven days. But what are the people like that are holding this token? According to this article right here, majority of holders of Jasmine are now in the profit. Should you join them? Well, this is something where there was some very interesting information in this that I wanted to share with you guys. So first up, here's the, uh, let me pull this up for you guys right here. So Jasmine Coin has a total of 72K holders, out of which 47.5K users are in the profit. Okay, guys? So that is over half of the traders that hold this token are in the profit. Now, what is the risk with that? Well, maybe these people want to take profit, but I've got a theory on that that you're going to want to continue to listen in on as I explain this further. So they're in the profit, over half of them, 47.5K of them out of the 72K holders of this token. And they bought the coin, obviously, at a lower price. That's what makes them in the profit. Additionally, 20.9K holders of the coin are in, are in out of the money. Okay, so the remaining 20K are right now in out of the money. Also, 54% of the holders of the coin have held it for more than a year. So over half the people, again, probably the same half that are in the profit, have held it for more than over a year. And only 7% of them are holding for less than one month. About 12.39 billion Jasmine tokens is held by retailers, okay? Uh, and the largest holder of the coin alone has 9.78%. And the supply resulting in 4.89 billion Jasmine. Um, so this guy has 4.89 billion Jasmine, which is 9.78% of all the Jasmine, which is a tremendous amount of Jasmine. And so that is a risk in itself to the Jasmine coin. But... Does that make me bearish? Well, no, not necessarily, my friends. What I do like about this is that really there are a couple new buyers. 7% have been holding for less than a month, and so that's where this recent price surge came from. Uh, but what I'm excited about is really what comes next for the broader altcoin market. Now, regardless of if this guy with 9.78 sells this Jasmine or not, uh, guys, I think that there is going to be a tremendous amount of upside for a lot of of altcoins. 54% uh, of the holders being essentially retail traders is what it seems like. You know, this is good news. Uh, now, 12.39 billion of them are the retail traders. Now, there is a token supply of this token of, it looks like, 50 billion tokens. So, it's about almost mm, a little over 20% of the supply is right now held by retail traders. And this is decent information to understand, guys. These are things to consider whether, you know, you should be scared of this coin or excited about it. The only thing that's scary about this coin is the 9% uh, supply holder. That is a big supply, but we've seen that on coins like Pepe and other coins as well on Dogecoin in the past. And look what those coins did. Those coins did a tremendous amount of upside in these bull markets. Now, the reason I lean bullish on this coin is because, well, right now I'll look at the chart here in a second. First of all, the chart, but JP Morgan is bullish on the altcoin market and so am I. So you've got one of the largest banks in the world bullish on the altcoin market. Jasmine is a top 100 altcoin 
with very loyal holders. And here's the chart. The chart's looking beautiful. Guys, we predicted this wedge breakout. Here was the target. We came back down, tested the support, found the support. And here's the overall market cap right now for crypto trying to come back up into this wedge. Now, if it can achieve that and Bitcoin can continue this move back up to the $60,000 level, break above the $60,000 level, then I think there's a good chance that Jasmine has a full-fledged bounce here and retakes this recent high that it had and then some and gets a 100% move to the upside from here. Uh, now, looking at some of this holder information, some of it might scare you. Some of it might make you excited. Generally, I kind of like that information just to know it, know what the risks are going into it. But I believe that regardless of if there is a guy that holds 9% of the supply, we've seen that on a lot of tokens. When the altcoin market truly explodes and we see this total market cap go past $3 billion, $3 trillion, up to $4 trillion, $5 trillion, and maybe even $10 trillion at the peak of this bull market, uh, then we are going to see a tremendous amount of money flow into this space. And Jasmine is a coin, considering it's in the top 100, top 100 of tokens in this crypto market, you know, it can get a couple billions of dollars to flow into it. And I think that this coin, looking at its previous highs, you know, at about, at about, you know, looking at this 32 cent level and then its highest high at about five bucks, I think we can see a lot more upside for this token. Uh, so I'm going to keep my eye on it. I think this is a great token to trade. I'm a little more spooked to hold it for the super long term because of that 9% holder, but we've seen that in the past as well. So I'm continuing to go in with a trading strategy on this. I think this is a decent long opportunity on Jasmine. I, I might continue to consider accumulating this into my portfolio as just a holding coin because it is an Internet of Things play. This is certainly a category that is relevant in crypto, and they have a huge amount of partnerships and the executives from Sony are the people that are the founders uh, and leaders of this project, which is a good sign for the future. So there's a really lot of bullish things. Now, if you just want to trade this token like me, guys, there is a great exchange that is able to do that on. You can perpetual trade Jasmine token on Blowfin. You could sign up for Blowfin using our link in the comment section. It's pinned for you there and in the description of this video down below. When you deposit $2,000, you can get $300 to trade with for free up to $5,000 sign up bonuses. If you want to check out Blowfin and take advantage of all the sign up bonuses on this exchange, it's a new and upcoming exchange, no KYC required. We've also got a sign up link for you guys for Femex as well with sign up bonuses there if you have not taken advantage of them. I'm going to continue to find coins to trade and accumulate into my portfolio. I'm still considering if I want to build a long-term holding bag of Jasmine, but I do like the price action I'm seeing on this token, and I do expect a short-term pump of about 100% soon if Bitcoin retakes that $60,000 level. Guys, that is all I have for you in this one. I am Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Smash a like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for more crypto content. And as always, my friends, don't forget to DCA, HODL, and of course, I will see you in the next one. Don't forget, do your own research, my friends. As always, two videos for you right here if you want to check them out. That's all I got, guys. Till next time, later.